And we begin with Detroit making history today with a groundbreaking that's literally changing the landscape. Thank you for staying with us. I'm Glenda Lewis. Mayor Mike Duggan joined DTE and community members to break ground on the city's first neighborhood solar array. The 42 acre project in the Van Dyke Lynch neighborhood is turning vacant and blighted land into clean energy. 7 News Detroit reporter Carly Petrus has more on this transformational project. Soon solar panels just like these will fill this entire field here in the Van Dyke Lynch neighborhood. And city leaders say this is just the beginning as four more neighborhoods are set to receive the upgrade. <laughs> <laughs> Laughter and sunshine filling Elgin Avenue Monday as Detroit city leaders, community members and DT come together to make history. It's a day worth waiting for. Living in the Van Dyke Lynch neighborhood for 50 years now, Haley Henley says she's excited to see a lot formerly filled with blight. It's kind of sad when you live in a neighborhood and you get afraid to come out in it after dark. Transformed into the city's first field of solar panels. Thanks to the mayor for not forgetting about us. Generating 10 megawatts of clean, renewable energy. This solar field will be the first under Mayor Mike Duggan's solar neighborhood initiative. There was nothing but illegal dumping and illegal activity going on here uh, a year ago. And now it's going to power the city. Duggan says the goal is simple, to lower energy costs and to make Detroit neighborhoods better. This is going to power a huge number of city buildings and the money that we're making from the electricity we're using to improve the houses of the neighbors across the street who are going to be here for the long term. Neighbors like Dorothy Gludney. The best thing that this solar panel did was brought us together. Receiving numerous improvements, including roofing and insulation. We spoke with her several weeks ago about what she called a life-saving upgrade, a carbon monoxide detector. God was watching out for you. All the time. Four more neighborhoods are set to receive solar fields, including Gratiot Finley, State Fair, Greenfield Park, and Houston Whittier. A total of 160 acres. The project is made possible by tax credits from the Inflation Reduction Act of 2022. We said we're only going to the neighborhoods where we're wanted. Uh, and as you can tell, uh, we were very much wanted in this neighborhood. I'm told this solar field is supposed to be completed by mid-2026 and DTE will hold additional informational sessions throughout construction. Carly Petrus, 7 News, Detroit. All right, that is good news. Carly, thank you.